Cool. We're going to um, just kind of take last week's lessons and compress them into one. So the first thing I want to do is uh, just kind of go over that single leg a little bit, uh, some of the dynamics of it, and then some of the finishing options. And then we're going to go into a different escape that if the semester had gone exactly as planned, we would have had more time to drill, but fuck it. Anyway, so um, that position that we're getting to in the single leg, so let's start with that, is sort of collapse frame. I kind of pointed this out on Monday, but I just want to, or two weeks ago, but I want to reiterate. Any frames is better than no frames, right? If I have Mike on top of me, on my sternum, and all his weight on top of my chest, go ahead and drop all your weight on me. This is uncomfortable, it's harder to breathe, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Like, if I have this, go ahead. I mean, it's not awesome, but this is so much better than having him directly on my sternum. The bigger the guy is, the more of a difference that's going to make. The other thing about this is that having my arms, like every single thing supports this being the right idea. Having my arms on the inside helps me breathe. It gives me something to start, when I start moving, to use to help me get out. So it's I'm basically putting uh, little frames in the way, little spring-loaded frames in the way that once I start creating some movement, I can use to my advantage to help maneuver to a different position. Additionally, um, having your arms on the inside is just good protective jujitsu. So once he has side control, if, uh, say you're on top of me, mm -hmm. my elbows are in, my hands are in. It's like it's going to be really hard for him to get a hold of an arm in a meaningful way. Like if he tries to shoulder lock, he tries to go for an arcade, he's going to basically create all this space to try to attack if they're in here. If they're here, it's a different story. This is what I want. Elbows in tight. Basically, I want to squish my titties together. Mm. You know, so. Yeah. Uh, so, I'm here. <laughs> Bless you. So, I'm here. Everything's in tight. <clears throat> Bless you. Another thing that this can come in handy, right, is like, you're not always going to be able to get to the, tel uh, the, the goal posts right away. But there should be a moment when you're getting past that you know you're gonna lose that battle. Like, over time, that's a thing that'll develop your sensitivity, basically, over um, when you know you're gonna lose this fight, right? So if Mike's here, mm -hmm. you know, he's passing, let's say like a knee cut or something, mm -hmm. and we're hustling, and say you got your knee over, and we're bat I've been battling you at this point, there's gonna be a point where I should know that he's gonna pass. So when he goes, and I know it's gonna happen, I get this in the way. Right? This is the bare minimum I should be getting in the way. It's like just natural instinct should be to get these basic frames in these uh, uh, kind of collapsed frames in position. It's not the best, but it is better than this, obviously, right? Probably don't need to tell you guys that, but it's an important note to me. Okay. So when we get to that, so let's go ahead and uh, move a little bit. Get you on top. Uh, we kind of basically already have the mechanics for the single leg, right? My foot goes, like my feet kind of ski wide or to the outside. I do a big bridge and a big elbow. It's like the combined movement that's going to be the big difference here. Um, meaning that it's not just a bridge so that I don't create space that way. It's a bridge and an elbow. And then my arm is going to windshield wiper down and go straight. I want to use this to chop as I shoot low. Turn the corner. I want to find my head to the hip. Now, there are a multitude of ways to do the, well, well let me start off with this, the umbrella. There are effectively two basic things you could do from here. I can either sweep and get on top, like finish and, and get top position, or if I can't get to that, I can pull to guard and get to guard position. How exactly do you do that? There are different ways to do that. I'm going to show you guys today the ways I like to finish those things. So, and I have a single leg. All I'm going to do from here. Um, we talked about basically when I first laid this out, pretty much just overloading their hip by driving over. And I mean, that'll work sometimes. But there's a couple things that doesn't address. So I have you. Namely, what that doesn't address is if his left leg gets wide. Right now, I'm just kind of driving him into that path. Right? Does that make sense? So, what I'm going to do is grab a hold of that pant leg. Here, I'm going to grab a hold of his pant leg. If I can, I'm going to either grab his belt or I'm going to grab his uh, lapel. Mm. I can grab pretty much any one I want. The best one is going to be on the opposite side. Mm. So I'll show for the camera. Say so you're postured up. If I'm hooking back here, it's this lapel. 
my grip is not just pulling back. My grip is pulling, like almost like making a thong, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to drive my shoulder forward. Does that make sense? Head in the hip, hand, uh, hand at the bottom with palm facing up on the pant leg. I'm going to finish this by doing kind of two things at once. I'm going to drive forward. I don't need to drive my upper body so much because my feet are going to do the work, right? So my feet are going to do this work. But again, that still doesn't address the problem of him widening his face, which is why we're going to have that pant rest. So if I grab you, I have the pant leg. I'm here. I'm going to drive forward, but instead of trying to pull this leg in, because now if I try to pull it in, we're doing an arm versus a leg, which is a losing equation. If I try to pull in, like widen your knee out, it's like I can lose that grip pretty easy. But instead of going in, I'm going to go up. So up. So I drive, and I scoop up. So what ends up happening is it's like a magician's tablecloth. Right, right. Pulling the face out from underneath. Nice. So I'll do that a little bit of mustard. Uh, I get here, I grab the lapel, I grab the pant leg, and I'm going. I drive. Nice. And from here, really easy to just smoosh the knees and start working through your pass. Mm -hmm. Right? So that makes sense, right? Second one. Let's say I don't feel like I can get those things. So pretty good scenario is he might have wizard. So if I grab here, so let me uh, get a hold of the leg. But he wizards or something. I can't quite um, drive forward for the position. I feel like I'm going to lose. Especially if he wizards hard. Actually, I'll no, Jeremy, I'll have you do this in a second. Is um, drive my, your shoulder into me to put me on the, my back. Right. All I'm going to do is keep my gable grip and suck his knee over my leg, and I get my half guard. Nice. Very simple. And from there, you know we did. You know what to do next. So if I can grab you. So, so the first one. Let's do the first one. I grab here. I have my head in the hip. I'm grabbing the opposite side lapel, pulling it between the legs. Yeah. I kind of want to pull it. You kind of feel like that pressure behind the thigh and my shoulder going forward. I grab the pants at the knee, and then I'm going to drive forward while I lift this up. I'm going. And it's a tablecloth. Mm -hmm. You'll feel the difference. Like I'll do that now. I'll try to pull in and feel the difference that that makes. Is if I go, same exact thing, but if I'm going in, it just kind of doesn't mm -hmm. quite get the base mm -hmm. compromised. And then if I'm here, and like a good scenario would be if he wizards hard and drives me to the mat. But from here, it's going to be hard to come back up. So I'm going to pull me over my thigh and just get right to my half garden. And from here, you know, again, we're right here. We can start working all this. Yeah. yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. You guys have any questions? No? Alright, we'll partner up. We'll One, two, three.